motor innervation of lower limb somatic motor fibers traveling in the same mixed peripheral nerves that convey the sensory fibers to the cutaneous nerves transmit impulses to the muscles of the lower limb what is myotome myotome is the unilateral embryological muscle mass which is receiving innervation from a single spinal cord segment or a single spinal nerve lower limb muscles usually receive motor fibers from the several spinal cord segments or nerves thus most muscles are composed of more than one myotome and most often multiple spinal cord segments are involved in producing the movement of the lower limb see here in this diagram they have shown the movement at different joints in the lower limb this is the movement at the hip joint the lateral external rotation it is caused by the l1 and l5 l5 and l1 then this is the medial internal rotation of the hip joint this is innervated by l1 l2 and l3 okay in the medial rotation they have shown you the abduction and adduction of the hip joint in adduction the muscles are innervated by l1 l2 l3 and l4 and abduction at the hip joint the muscles are innervated by l5 and s1 see here in this diagram they have shown inversion and eversion or at the subtalar joint inversion when we are moving the sole of the foot toward the middle of the body and eversion when we are moving the sole of the foot away from the body or away from the midline of the body inversion is caused by l5 and l4 and eversion the muscles are innervated by l5 and s1 see here in the diagram which is below this is the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion of toes at the metatarsophalangeal and phalangeal joints dorsiflexion of toes means the toes are moved toward the dorsal surface of the foot and plantar flexion means the toes are moved toward the sole of the foot so dorsiflexion is caused by the muscles which are innervated by l5 and s1 and the plantar flexion is caused by the muscles which are innervated by s1 and s2 now we will come toward the flexion and extension at the hip joint the flexion at the hip joint is caused by l2 and l3 extension at the hip joint is caused by the muscles which are innervated by l4 and l5 extension of the knee joint is caused by the muscles which are innervated by l3 and l4 and flexion which is moving the knee backward is caused by the muscles which are innervated by l5 and s1 then the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion at the ankle joint dorsiflexion moving whole of the foot toward the dorsal surface it is caused by l4 and l5 and plantar flexion that moving the whole foot toward the sole or toward the earth this is s1 and s2 so these were the movements which were caused by different muscles and which are innervated by different spinal cord segments